Praise God. Um, before I hit the bed tonight, I just wanted to respond to a message I received asking me for my input on this. If one needs God to prosper, someone, I believe, listened to a, a preacher's message which was con uh, convincing to him and he wanted my input he said he loves um, listening to my messages and he wanted to you know hear my view on this if you need God to succeed but before I dive into the response I just want to thank a lot of us that have reached out to to me and uh, your comments, your encouragement, and your prayers, I sincerely appreciate it. I don't preach the gospel because I want to go viral. No, I preach as the Lord commands or directs or inspired me to do so. And I want His Word to impact our lives. It's not about me. So, what I'm going to say today, based on this question, I'm going to back it up with scriptures. And I want to ad, you know, advise each and every one of us to be very careful what you listen to, especially on social media. Social media is now a platform. Most people use it as a platform to spread falsehood about the gospel of Christ. They deduct it. And a lot of people um, try to preach religion to you. Religion is very manipulative. Religion is witchcraft. I'm not talking about Christianity. Christianity is not a religion. You know, but there is a true religion God wants us to practice. And that is in James chapter 1 verse 27. That's the only religion that I believe in. Every other religion apart from James chapter 1 verse 27 is witchcraft, is manipulative. It's something they want you to worship God the way they deem fit, the way they believe you ought to worship God. So when someone tries to teach you how to serve God, which is not in accordance with the scriptures, please, please don't listen to such person. Be guided by the Holy Spirit. Devil knows the scriptures, but he lacks the understanding of the scriptures. He knows the scriptures. The devil can quote the scriptures, but he lacks the understanding of it. So when somebody tells you, you don't need God to succeed, you don't need God to prosper, what sense is the person trying to make? Telling you you don't need God to succeed. I don't know the context the person preached such message, but the bottom line is this, you need God to succeed. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So it's sudden to see how social media preachers these days, you know, try to tell you the, go the, the gospel song to sing that is godly. They want to tell you how to worship God, how to pray to God, how to do a lot of things these days. You know, they try to manipulate you into their own religious belief or doctrinal teachings. It's no longer the message of Christ. It's not about their belief. So please, you need God to succeed. You need God to prosper in whatever you do. And the blessings of the Lord makes rich and add no sorrows. So, God does not bless us because of our, of our faith in Him. You know, He doesn't do that. He blesses whoever He wants to bless. But above all things, the bottom line is that we need Him. We need Him. He blesses you according to your heart desires. So you have to understand. It's like me. I can't tell you how to talk to your father. 
your biological father. I, don't, I can't tell you how to have a relationship with your father except you're a prodigal child. Then that's when I can tell you how to win the heart of your father. <clears throat> but if you're not a prodigal child, I, I have no business to tell you how to talk to your father. There are ways we approach our parents. So the way I talk to God may differ from how you talk to God. That doesn't mean he never hears you when you pray or when you talk to him. It's your communication pattern. It may differ from mine. So please, don't let anybody bewitch you into believing that you have to do it in, in, this, in, in a certain way. Whenever I preach the gospel, I encourage people to please go and compare my teachings with what the word of God says to make sure I'm not misleading you. Please. So be careful the messages you listen to and what you believe in. <clears throat> now I'm going to sum this thing up, respond to this very question with Genesis chapter 39. Genesis chapter 39 from verse 20 to 23. And I'm going to read from New King James uh, Version. Hallelujah. Then, then Joseph, the Joseph Masters took him and put him into the prison, a place where the king's prisoners were confined. I'm reading the Bible right now. And he was there in the prison. Verse 21. But the Lord was with Joseph. I want you to underline this. Said, but the Lord was with Joseph and showed him mercy. And he gave him favor in sight of, of the keeper of the prison. He gave him favor. <clears throat> Verse 22 says, And the keeper of the prison committed to Joseph's hand, committed to Joseph's hand all the prisoners who were in the prison, Whatever they did there, it was his doing. Now, see verse 23. The keeper of the prison did not look into anything that was under Joseph's authority because, now, see, 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 see the, the testimony there, because the Lord was with him. Say, because the Lord was with him, and whatever he did, the Lord made it prosper. Whatever he did, the Lord made it prosper. So how can you not need God to prosper? One with God is with majority. They always say this, right? So the Lord was with him. When you are with God, whatever you touch is, prospers. So please, we need God to prosper. We need God to sustain that prosperity when it comes. He gives you wisdom. He gives you direction. So in everything you do, it's not by your might or by your making. But one thing I want you to understand, he chooses to bless whoever he wants to bless. We do not know the perimeter God uses to bless us. He blesses satanists. He blesses um, um, the atheists. He blesses Christians. He blesses Muslims. He blesses pagans. That's the beauty, beauty, beauty of God. You don't need to be, if somebody says you don't need to be a born again Christian to be blessed, I agree with that person. You don't need to be a born again Christian. But you need God to succeed. You need God to be blessed. You can't do it by your own making. The foolishness of God is wiser than men. I'm going to end it there. God bless you.